Hello everyone, one management program that will improve your breeder performance is separate sex feeding, and I will discuss this concept. We need separate sex feeding because it is one important key point to keep good male fertility. Separate sex feeding allows us to keep good male uniformity. Keep correct male body weight, keep correct develop of testes and maturity in male, keep male in the correct condition, and we can use male specific feed. All above will not happen if we do not apply separate sex feeding. When separate sex feeding, male body weight is the bull line, while female body weight is the clean line. Male and female have different growth profile and different feet, so separate sex feeding must be done from replacement until depletion, which can be separate into two parts, from placement until 21 week of age, using separate house or partition between male and female, and from week 21 until depletion with male and female in the same house separate sex feeding. After mixing, we must do separate sex feeding correctly, otherwise the male management schedule will fail which will affect female performance too. How to do separate sex feeding? Training and equipment. We must train male to be familiar with their feeder equipment before mixing with female. Net are on both sides to separate male and female but include a nipple line and feeder for male, so male will learn their feeder from a young age. It is common practice in boot gore house. We must also train male to know their feeding time. In general, we will run the female feeder before the male feeder, so we need the male to know where their feeder is and wait at their feeder. The picture show pan feeder for both male and female in the rearing period. But in the production house, the female feed is chain type and male feeder is a trough with a net to separate male and female during feeding time. After feed is finished, male and female are mixed. Equipment The male feeder should have the following feature Accurate feed distribution 100% accessibility even feeder spread, male welfare and safety friendly. Feed must be stable with the correct height for male. If not, male will lose feeder spread and feed will not evenly distribute. Feeder must be stable, thick and not swing. Feeder must always be the correct height for male. Female feeder should prevent male asset due to size of male comb, which is larger than the female comb. Prevent male asset with a grill, feeder pan opening, or row bar. At the early stage of mixing, there is not big difference between the female and male comb. So, training 
is a very important process. We must train the male before mixing and then monitor and observe after mixing. My takeaway message is this key point to keep good male fertility. Separate sex feeding must be done correctly by number one, training male to learn where their feeder are and the time to feed. Neck and male drinker line are good tool for training male. Number two, the right feeder equipment for both male and female. Number three, monitor and observe to make separate sex feeding efficient, simple, and practicable. For more information, please contact your local COP technical representative or visit copmentress.com. Thank you.